we are arriving at Honolulu. We'll spend about a week in Hawaii. This is actually my first time in Hawaii, so I'm super excited. Now we're driving towards Waikiki, where we're gonna drop off our stuff at the Sheraton Hotel, which is where we'll be staying for the whole trip. We started our day by catching the sunrise at Lanakai Beach. We thought we were early when we got there, but the day has already started for a lot of people at Lanakai Beach. We saw puppies running around. We also saw a lot of people kayaking out in the water. We then decided to check out the Lanakai Pillbox hike, which is really close by. The Pillbox Trail is a short and overall moderate hike with great views along the way. The first part of the trail could be quite steep and slippery, so watch out as you're heading up. Once we reach the top, we're greeted with spectacular views of the calm water. morning activities, we went back to Waikiki for brunch. We tried out Island Vintage Coffee, which is a pretty popular cafe sitting in the heart of shopping areas in Waikiki. The Lilikoi acai bowl I got was to die for. It was a perfect balance between tart and sweet in a bowl. Our dinner is at Sushi Show, which is one of the best sushi restaurants in Oahu. Getting a reservation for Sushi Show was incredibly hard. I had to call over 20 times a few days in order to snatch one finally, but it was all worth it at the end. Everything was delicious. Fish were really fresh. There were many creative sushi pieces too, combining the use of local ingredients in a smart way. I would definitely recommend this place if you're able to get a reservation. <laughs> Today, we started off the day with some sweet pastries at Kona Coffee and Beef Patisserie. The line is already pretty long when we got there, but it moved pretty fast overall, so the wait wasn't too bad. There were so many different pastries to choose from. They had local and seasonal flavors as well, such as lilikoi and guava. Here's what we ended up getting. The pan suisse, or translated as the Swiss bread, which was decadent. A regular butter croissant, which turned out to be super light and flaky, and their black sesame quidamon. After pastry, we decided to go for another hike. This one we're driving to is the Makapu Lighthouse Trail, located on the east side of the island. The hike is pretty easy overall. It's about two miles long and all of the trail is paved, so making it super friendly for all types of hikers. Throughout the trail, you'll be able to see the beach line. Um, I think there is a tide pool you can also check out. You probably guessed by the name of this trail, but towards the end point of the hike, you will be able to see a lighthouse. <music> can't leave Hawaii without getting a Mai Tai drink, right? We got our first Mai Tai of the trip at the Mai Tai bar right next to our hotel. The bar area was right next to Waikiki Beach, and you can also get a good view of the Diamond Head. There was a live band playing when we got there. Ambience was great.
We went for ramen at Ramen Nakamura for our dinner, which was a good way to wrap up the day. We dropped by this trailer called Holy Grail. They sell different types of donut that are all freshly fried on order. They use taro root as their starch. There were a few fancy flavors, but we chose to stick with their original flavored donut at the end. We then got brunch at Basalt. We got their charcoal pancakes. It came with guava strawberry sauce, which was unique and super tasty. We also got their loco moco with wagyu beef patty, bacon fried rice, mushroom gravy, and a sunny side up egg. Everything on the plate mixed so well together. Each bite was so flavorful and juicy. I can see why loco moco becomes a favorite for a lot of people. After the delicious brunch, it's time to chill by the water. There are no particular plans for the day, but we will just spend some time soaking in the sunshine. For dinner today, we stopped by Foodland to pick up some fresh poke. There were a huge selection of poke with different flavors. I really wanted to try them all, but my stomach have limited space. I'll definitely have to come back and try more. Today, we're going to get some good cardio workout in because we'll be hiking the Coco Crater Trail. Although it's a short hike that's a little over a mile, the incline gets pretty steep really fast. All right, time to start. Stairs, stairs, and you guess it, more stairs. There's over 1,000 steps to get to the top, so this can definitely satisfy as your Stairmaster workout for the day. Definitely take a breather throughout the hike to pace yourself if needed and enjoy the amazing view along the way. Once you get to the top, you're treated with amazing 360-degree view from the Hanoma Bay to Diamond Head to Makapu Point and more. The gorgeous view makes the whole hike so, so worth it at the end. So as you reach the short hanging bridge, if you have fear of heights like me, try this. Or just take the bypass bridge. <laughs> What's a better way to treat yourself with some iced dessert after a long, hard hike? I personally don't think there's a better way. So we stopped by Island Vintage Shaved Ice to get some refreshing shaved ice. The one we got with lilacoy and strawberry with yogurt underneath and mochi on the side just what I needed. At nighttime, we went to a local bar to get, you guessed it, more Mai Tai. Gotta take advantage when we're still here, right? It looks very cool. Wow. <laughs> yeah. okay. Here you go, guys. Today, we're going to go on an adventure and explore the North Shore. We stopped by Halewa Bowls, which is a well-known place that sells different acai bowls. You can choose your own toppings and also create your own acai bowl combinations.
We also stopped by the famous Matsumoto shaved ice. There's usually a line, so definitely plan for it. We tried the guava and lychee flavors. I personally didn't like this one as much as the one from yesterday. I'll have to try some more flavors to see. The rest of our time around North Shore, we're going to check out a few different beaches along the way. We're wrapping up our day at the North Shore by watching the sunset at the Sunset Beach. There were quite a few people there well before the sunset just to relax and hang out. A lot of people came here to surf as well as they try to catch that perfect wave. Today, we're going to Hanoma Bay to try snorkeling. Hanoma Bay is one of the most popular tourist destinations. With that, you do have to make a reservation online to get in. The view is very pretty and there are parts of water that is very beginner friendly as well. After Hanoma Bay, we drove to Coco Head Cafe for brunch. This is a restaurant opened up by Chef Lian Wang, who I became familiar after watching the culinary show Top Chef. You'll see her putting her twist on some of the food items throughout the menu. We tried out the breakfast congee on the menu with bacon, sausage, ham, egg, and cheddar cheese. We also got the kokomoko, which is her version of loco moko, served with fried tempura kimchi. For dinner today, we wanted to try Helena's Hawaiian food for a more traditional local dinner. The restaurant is not too big, so we can definitely get busy around dinner time. We got a set menu that came with poi paste, the short ribs pipacala style, the halpia which is sweet coconut pudding, the lao lao which is meat wrapped in leeks, the beef stew with carrots, the chicken long rice actually not cooked with rice, the kalua pig cooked in emu, and the lomi lomi salmon. Today's our last day in Hawaii, so we're going to hike the Diamond Head Crater Hike. This is a pretty short trail, just under a mile one way, and you'll be able to get a good view of Waikiki once you get to the top.
Before we leave Hawaii, we wanted to get poke one last time. We stopped by Ono Seafood and did take out since they didn't have any seating. We picked up their shoyu ahi tuna and their spicy ahi tuna. We found a nearby park where we can sit and enjoy our food and the view at the same time. Till next time, Hawaii.